Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I installed the drive wheels. Uh, the first thing I need to do is mark out the position of the tube that's going to hold the, the wheel and the um, bearing assembly. So I marked that out on both sides of the square tubing. Now on this, I didn't do it like the other one because I have to have a way to get the drive shaft to the wheel. So I have to have a hollow tube that the bearing assembly mounts to. So what I do is I cut this out using a grinder and this is the square stock. This is the same as I used on the front on the uh, tension wheels but the difference is this one's going to go through so that I can run the drive shaft through this to the wheel uh, to the bearing assembly. So here it is. I tacked it in place got it lined up. Both are lined up and as you can see you can see directly through it and I'm mounting it the same way I did on the tension wheels. I'm using, um, well these I'm using carriage bolts, but it allows me to get the angle exactly right and position it um, so that the track will uh, track sh uh, straight. Okay, the next thing I have to do is uh, figure out how to um, attach the drive shaft to the uh, uh, bearing assembly. As you can see inside here, there's a, uh, uh, a nut that's on the end but it's clamped in place so it can't come apart. So I'm going to devise a way to connect the drive shaft to this and this is what's going to spin the, the drive wheels. Now on the other side of this I'm going to mount a bearing um, holder that'll, uh, that the other side of the drive shaft will fit into. So on the other side here, on each side, there will be a bearing holder that will secure the drive shaft in place. Okay, these are the uh, tension wheels I'm going to use for the track. I've installed them and just use some smaller wheels, uh, the same width as the wheels on the bottom, but smaller diameter wheels. And my idea with this is to use a shock type absorber. It's actually like a piston that you would use on your hatchback of your car or something. But uh, my idea is to install that and use that to keep tension on the on the track. So what will happen is these will be compressed. These pistons will be compressed so it'll it'll keep tension up on the on the on these wheels here. Okay, so this is how I plan on driving the tracks uh, with the drive wheels. I'm going to use these uh, one inch uh, flat bar. I'm going to weld it between the rim here. And they're going to be spaced evenly around the rim so that two of the tracks will fit in between each, each one of these. And then it will actually come up between the tracks. The tracks are going to be secured on a metal cable and so they can't move and then these are actually going to drive the tracks. Um, so this is my plan. I hope it works and I'll, we'll see. Okay, I couldn't resist. I had to uh, try these tracks out and uh, put them on to, to get an idea what it looks like. Uh, they're not nearly done. I have just enough to do almost one and uh, anyway I wanted to see what it looked like so this is your uh, sneak peek. I'm going to have a really good in-depth video coming up on, the, uh, on how I build these tracks, so stay tuned. Please subscribe and check out my Facebook page. Thanks for watching.